I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Donald Trump feels that Jeb Bush has no chance to win the Republican nomination for president and thinks that Bush should drop out. Trump would just fire the guy, but, well, he doesn't hold that job anymore. Omaha police say a tiger bit an apparently intoxicated woman who broke into a Nebraska zoo to pet the big cat. The 33-year-old gassed gal suffered a severe hand injury in the incident at the Omaha Zoo early Sunday. Police say she had sneaked into the zoo and was bitten when she reached into the tiger exhibit. Well, yeah, that'll happen. Twitter changed its star-shaped favorite icon to a heart-shaped like icon on Tuesday, and hardcore Twitter users lost their minds. A Twitter spokesperson explained that the like heart is universally understood, while the favorite star could be confusing. Okay, you know, if you can't figure out the whole star heart thing on Twitter, you don't need to be on Twitter. Or, or, or let out of the house, for that matter. A new study finds that Americans who eat the healthiest have a limited number of items that they eat. Unhealthy eaters tend to have a wider variety of favorites. For example, healthy eaters eat tofu, while unhealthy eaters eat tofu covered with chocolate chips and sprinkles. This week in 2008, Michael Jackson made it clear that he would not be a part of a Jackson 5 reunion. I'm still holding out hope, though. U.S. taxpayers got stuck with a bill for a $43 million natural gas filling station in Afghanistan, a venture that should have cost $500,000 and has virtually no value to average Afghans. The Pentagon task force awarded a $3 million contract to build the station, but ended up spending $12 million in construction costs and $30 million in overhead between 2011 and 2014. Meanwhile, a similar gas station built in neighboring Pakistan cost just $500,000. Not to mention that most vehicles in Afghanistan are pulled by mules. The UK is the first country in the world to allow the creation of a baby from the DNA of three parents. The move, which was approved in law earlier this year, started last week despite concerns from several groups. The procedure involves the replacement of a small part of the mother's DNA with that of a donor so that certain genetic health conditions are not passed on to the child. This means that the baby will have DNA from two women and one man. Unfortunately, all the babies are inexplicably born with head scars and bolts on their necks. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can find more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, where you can also download the free Daily Dose of Weird News app for Apple or Android. You can find me on Facebook and find all my other shows. Also, I now have free stuff that you can get every month. No questions asked, no strings attached. Just check out the Free for the Asking section in the right-hand column at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 